Hello and welcome to North Country Ham. Today's episode, building a power distribution block. I uh, bought this kit from K9JEB, so stick around. So with this kit, I purchased it from K9JEB. He's got a website, which I'll share the link to. Um, I originally was supposed to be, um, I was invited to do the kit build on Kyle, AA0Z's uh, channel. Um, but when I ordered the kit, I didn't do it correctly. It's my own fault. But So I didn't have the kit in time. So I've uh, decided I'm going to go ahead and build the kit anyways. And figured I'd share that build with you. So with that, let's kind of go to our uh, overhead view here and kind of show you what we've got. Now I ordered this kit um, from his website and I did go with the little, um, with the printed base. So this is the printed base that he's got um, that I purchased with it. And then I'll set this off to the side. Now I have preemptively gone through and snipped the copper wire and soldered it with uh, already, so that way that part's done. So it's more or less just soldering the kit together. So obviously you get your board, uh, little LED, set that up here. Or uh, a resistor, uh, six pairs of the Anderson power pole uh, sleeves, connections, uh, enough of the little clips for inside the power poles, which you can see I've already crimped and soldered. Um, I've got 12 of those done. Kind of move these aside. Comes with a little blade fuse for, and it comes with enough of this copper wire when you follow the directions to cut it in lengths of five between five eighths to three quarters of an inch in length, which I've done, and then I took and crimped all of these to the to the little leads and soldered them. So you got a dozen of these, and of course then there's also two of the little connections for the fuse, and then four screws for the four of these little screws for that for the base. So what I would do go through and try to get all of these pushed together. I'll have to get some players here. One sec. I thought I, thought I grabbed them, but I didn't. Okay, I grabbed the little snips, but I did not grab the player players to hold on to this to push this into the power pole here. So what I'll do is I'll put all these together.
All right, now I've got them all pushed and, and set in here. So what I want to do, I've had my soldering iron um, preheating. You know, while that's been preheating, I've uh, figured I'd get these all set. Now I've got my soldering iron uh, set to 340 Celsius, which I want to say is somewhere around 650, 645 um, Fahrenheit. So now that I've got that all set, you take and put your power poles together um, so they're a little easier to set right in and and start going. So what you want to do set them all together like so so you got your pairs ready to go. You definitely want to make sure that these are all clipped right in in place where they need to be and, and everything's facing the same way so now we've got those now I use the actual tri crimp pliers that I have um, to crimp those be turn the light on here I grab I grabbed my My little circuit board handler. And put that in place. Now the first thing that you want to solder in is the fuse holder. Um, what it recommends is that you install them from the from the top, obviously. Tack them in place and then finish soldering underneath. Reel my solder out here. What I'm going to do All right, now we got those blades in. Might just see if I can tack a little more from the top. Trying to move the camera a little bit, guys. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So next, we'll do the resistor. 
this little guy. Already kind of pre-bent him a little bit. Right on. There we go. Now we'll do the LED. Now one thing on the LED that does have a longer lead on one side. So you want to make sure that that longer lead goes through the um, positive on the board. And I think I skipped over the page. Yep, you put the longer lead. Like I was just wanting to make sure I'm doing this right. So on this LED, you see that the one side's got the longer lead. You want to slide that through the positive side. over a little bit. And then solder that in place. Now on my solder gun, I went with the narrower point, a little sharper point. I tried this time because I built one kit before. Um, previously because I did uh, bought two of them but I um, figured I'd try it this time with a smaller tip and see how that worked. So there we go now we've got the fuse blade mounted as well as the resistor and the LED so from here you can start mounting your power pole you see positive negative it's already labeled so you basically slide them through and tack it in play but because this wants to move and all that I'm gonna something that I did previously that I felt like worked for me so I can set this aside and just for spacing purposes I'm gonna put this In as well just to hold it upright Just, uh, now that I got them spotted in play, check positioning on them. All right, so now I got those two on, and I in there secured. Now I can, I'm gonna go ahead, the next one in.
Yeah. I'm definitely not the greatest at soldering, but I think I'm slowly getting a little better the more I do it. Plan on keep trying to build more and more kits and do different things to get into the radio hobby more. Making my own. I like making my own little stuff. You know, when it comes to the radio or any hobby I'm doing, I like building and doing. There we are for that. All right. There it is. Soldered. Um, I'm going to go through, clean it all up, you know, snip off the excess, make it look a little nicer. I'm going to play with some of the alignment. There we go. Power distribution. Once I get it all cleaned up and everything, I get it, make it so it'll. I don't actually have to snip anything off if I don't want to, but I'll probably clean it up just a little bit. And there we go. So that'll be, this is again the K9JEB 5 plus 1 power distribution. And then your fuse goes right here. There we go. Once I mount it back into the base. Now you can use this without the base. You don't have to, but there we go. So I'll keep kind of tweaking on this a little bit. Clean it up so it's ready to go for remote ops. And we'll get it screwed into there. And there we are. So there you have it. So, thanks for uh, swinging in, spending some time with me. It's a neat little kit project to build for yourself for radio. So, you know, why not do it? If you can, and you learn along the way, you, you, you pick a little things that kind of help move you on further into the hobby. So, with that, I'll say 7-3. Thanks for watching. Get on the air.